Hey everybody, John Wagnon with Dev Central, and we're coming to you again with another Lightboard lesson video. And today we're going to talk about a couple of uh, features that we have here at F5 called WebSafe, and then a, and then another one just like it. It's called Mobile Safe. And so, uh, so what is WebSafe? What is Mobile Safe? Why do we care? All that stuff. And I guess at the heart of it, WebSafe is uh, we want to keep you safe out there on the web. And there's a lot of malware. There's a lot of you know, phishing attempts, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens, you know, to either your applications or your clients. And we want to keep you safe in this crazy, crazy network world out there in the internet. And so, uh, so anyway, so WebSafe. So let's talk about kind of what it is and what it can do for you. So let's say you have a client uh, or clients out there and you have a big IP deployed between those clients and your uh, application servers back here on the back end. So I'll just draw a few of these. So these are your uh, these are your app servers. And these app servers, let's say that they serve up. Maybe you're like a financial institution, or maybe you're a, maybe you're a company that has some kind of sensitive data that you want to protect. And so whenever these clients come in and they access all these app applications, uh, you know that that you provide for them. Um, again, there are things like phishing attempts or malware or you know root kits or all, any number of, of crazy things that happen and you want to keep them all safe. All right, so what WebSafe does is you can deploy WebSafe right here on your big IP. And, um, and what WebSafe does is it essentially moves the, uh, the perimeter defenses from us uh, here at the big IP out to the client. So I'm going to put kind of a, like a perimeter, let's say like a defense right here. Defense and so, so what what it what it does essentially is it takes uh, it'll say take some JavaScript for example and it'll say hey let's uh, you know as as you access as you access a payload from these application servers then it's gonna it's gonna move JavaScript and it's gonna say client you you need to interact with that so that you can come through and uh, and experience our web safe uh, services in order to protect yourself. And so, um, so anyway, so as payload is delivered, then it's going to interact with that, and it's going to cause it to to experience what we provide here in WebSafe. All right. So a few things that WebSafe um, provides is, and I'll just list a few of these things. So malware slash fraud detection. Uh, so I'll put detection here. Detection. Goodness, if I can if I could spell. All right. Malware fraud detection. So what this does. Is it's it's uh, it sits here web safe your application servers are back here um, and let's say a, a you know a client or a malicious client is coming to inject malware on on your website uh, or some kind of fraudulent activity on your website then web safe is going to be able to to uh, through this interaction with the JavaScript is going to be able to tell that hey there's some malware trying to attack my site right now and it's going to block that it's going to alert on that and so. Uh, I won't go into all the different sophisticated details on exactly how that works. We'll point you to some, uh, some examples uh, here at the bottom of this video and let you kind of really dig into exactly how that works, but there's some pretty cool things that it does. Um, so malware fraud detection is one. Another one is uh, phishing, and I'll, uh, I'll talk about this just for a second. Uh, phishing, farming, those kinds of uh, things that happen. Let's say that there's a bad, a bad guy client out there that is, uh, that's coming you know, that wants to attack your user, your end user that you want to protect. And let's say that, uh, that the bad guy knows that your client wants to access your website and the bad guy goes and he copies your website to a local host. Um, and then he uses that to then lure your client in to access now this copied version of your website because he wants to make it look like the real deal, right? Well, WebSafe can detect all that stuff. It's going to say, hey, there was a, there was a copy made of this website and then we've also detected that this client uh, has gone to that copied version of the website and that looks like some phishing stuff to us and that's not good and we want to alert on that we want to stop that and so it can uh, it can detect all those types of activities and uh, and can block some of these phishing attempts against your clients and i've heard some customers say hey phishing and malware are some of the uh, you know some of the top things that we worry about out there in the internet today? And so we want to if we can just if we can really lower the uh, you know the threat of those things, and that's going to be a significant uh, boost to our to our company. So anyway, so that's another thing it does. Um, another one it does is app layer encryption. 
So I'll put that on there really quick. This one's pretty cool. Let's say your uh, let's say your web page has a uh, has a form uh, on it that you put in a username and a password. For example, that's a pretty common example, right? Or maybe you're a, maybe you're a banking site and you you uh, require like a username or maybe like an account number or that kind of thing. Uh, but some sensitive data. Um, and let's say that for whatever reason you have not secured your application uh, so that the, uh, the password or the account number or the thing that you really need to, to be uh, protected, you've not encrypted that or you've not forced that to be encrypted or maybe you don't use HTTPS, for example, on this uh, transaction. Well, app layer encryption, and this is done in real time, by the way, so I'll put, I'll put real time. Real-time app layer encryption, what this does is that you can actually specifically set parameters on the big IP and you can set the type of, um, of you know, um, like post, for example, the, uh, the method um, that you want to look at or that you want to protect. And it, can, and it can take that exact parameter on that exact web page and say, hey, as the data is posted uh, to that parameter, then we're going to real-time um, encrypt that data. So even if you were to inspect the page, let's say you you know you right click, you do an inspect page, you know inspect element, let's say uh, on the web page, as you're typing it in and as that data is coming across, WebSafe is going to encrypt that, and uh, and you're not going to be able to tell what it is. Um, another one, I'll just put a little uh, a little uh, sub note here. I'll put Keylogger as a as another example. Um, let's say a Keylogger is deployed against one of your websites which is not good. So they're gonna want all the username and password and all that stuff. Um, if you have this app layer encryption uh, enabled on those parameters that you wanna protect, then even a keylogger, as you type it in, is just gonna get a bunch of encrypted, you know, unreadable text. And so the, uh, the keylogger bad guys are not gonna be able to use any of, the, any of the data that they collect from the keylogger. So that's, uh, that's another really cool one. Um, automatic transactions is another one. So I'll say auto transactions. And this one is, is more of a, uh, a situation where, let's say you have a, like a bot out there, some kind of malware package or a script that is run against your website. And, uh, and maybe, maybe the bad guy knows the username or maybe he doesn't, um, but he wants to test a whole bunch of different passwords, let's say, for example. And uh, so it's like, hey, let's put in the username, you know, Wagnon, for example, and, the, and then, but I don't know the password, so I'm gonna try this password first. If that doesn't succeed, I'm gonna try this one next, and so forth and so on. And so what, the web, what WebSafe can do is it can, it, it can detect some of the timing patterns on that and say, hey, wait a minute, you're trying like all kinds of different passwords against that username, um, or frankly, all kinds of usernames and passwords from this one device in much faster time than a real human would be able to type it in. So we're gonna, de we're gonna detect that and we're gonna block that um, you know, before you can continue any further. So that's kind of a, that's kind of a cool thing. Um, and then another one that I'll put on here is device of behavior analysis. So this, what this can do is um, anal analysis, anyway. You get the point, analysis. I think I misspelled that one. Um, but, uh, but anyway, what this can do is it can say, hey, what kind of device are we using? Is it a, is it a mobile device, is it a desktop, a laptop, even like a game console? Let's say you're coming in from a, you know, like a PlayStation or something like that. Then it can start to detect, hey, what kind of uh, behavior is, uh, is going on with these devices? And it can, uh, and it can start to assess the, uh, the specific things that are, that are going on. Um, okay, and then it can track that and gives you some statistics and all that. All right, so that's what WebSafe does. Those are a few key, like, uh, major points that it does. And then the other thing that I'll just, I'll just kind of brush on very quickly is MobileSafe, and I'll just kind of write it over here. MobileSafe, and essentially what MobileSafe does is think about all these things that happen for WebSafe from a, you know, from a desktop, laptop uh, type client. Uh, now consider a little, you know, mobile device user out here with his little iPhone kind of thing coming in, uh, trying to access your application. What MobileSafe is going to do is do very similar things just on the mobile device. So it can do things like um, uh, maybe like a, uh, uh, you know, a, a root or um, maybe a jailbroken device. So I'll put jail, jailbroken it can actually detect if something has been rooted or jailbroken back here and say, hey, we're not gonna let that kind of device in. It can also detect the, uh, the known good behavior from a mobile device into your application. 
uh, into your web applications and it can say, hey, this is what we expect as good behavior from a mobile device, but we're starting to see uh, you know, other than good behavior from this mobile device. And so we're gonna not let that uh, access our application server. So anyway, so mobile safe is another thing you can, you can kind of add on to the web safe uh, product as well. And, uh, and you know, at the end of all this stuff, what we wanna do is like I said, we wanna keep you safe out there on the internet. We wanna keep your applications safe. We also, we also want to keep your clients safe, your customers safe. So, uh, so get out there, check out WebSafe, check out MobileSafe, and uh, let's stay safe out there. So thanks for watching this edition of Lightboard Lessons, and we'll see you out there in the community.